Okay, we've got a lot to talk about in this video. Not only is it going to be a theory video, but we're also going to be talking about the very end of season three and when specifically that's going to happen, as well as, of course, the meaning of the butterfly from the episode slide. This episode of Bluey is called Slide. Which we kind of know about now, thanks to the Behind Bluey podcast for the episode slide. G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Monkey and I'm an Australian currently living in America. So, as I mentioned, in the Behind Bluey podcast, Joe Brahma twice mentioned about the end of season three and how Slide kind of fits in with that. What I do like about this app, which you probably won't find out for another year, is there is a little connection to a later episode. And so it's, it's a very special app in the context of season three, the wider context of season three. So yes, he said next year. You're kidding. Now, yeah, I think this might be 2024 because we're assuming that they filmed these nine episodes for the podcast for these specific nine episodes that just recently got released not that long ago, like at least within the last six months, which means that of course then he would be talking about 2024. <laughs> which means we're waiting another year until the end of season three, which is just... That means it took three years for the whole of season three to come out, which is nuts, just nuts. But we all love Bluey, so of course we're willing to wait. And if you love Bluey as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button down below, as well as that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. Also, this podcast is only available in Australia, just like season 3B and season 3C. So if you would like to listen to it or watch those episodes, you do need to use a VPN to change your internet location to Australia. I am not sponsored, but I do use NordVPN and I have an affiliate link with them. So I'll leave it in the pinned comment section down below, as well as the video tutorial on how to do it. So let's talk about then more importantly the second time that Joe talks about the butterfly and its meaning. Can you imagine the end of the app being really different if it's the hand comes down on top of the butterfly at the end of the episode? Well true and yeah. you know that would might affect a particular future app as well. Mm. Yes very good point. So yes we know that the butterfly is coming back now in a later episode. <gasps> So, the episodes that we have left are Cricket, which is coming out this week. <laughs> so no, it's not going to be that one. We have Ghost Basket, again, pretty sure that's the Halloween special, probably not coming back in that one. So the only two episodes left then are The Sign and Surprise, and come on, it seems a little obvious that it's going to be The Sign. So what kind of sign could it mean? Now we know that they spent a lot of effort designing the butterfly for this and really making sure that they like had the right details for it, everything like that. Can we talk about the butterfly? Yeah. When when that butterfly finally was fully animated with the, the wings on it, the, the full VFX wings and, and coming into land. Yeah, I actually got a little a little tear. And I, I have to admit, I don't tend to get super choked up very often. So let's have a look then at the Ulysses butterfly and its spiritual meaning. So of course, not surprisingly, it has the meaning of self-transformation, of making changes, taking risks, pushing boundaries. The whole idea of change and growth, which yeah, of course, is a butterfly. More specifically though, butterflies are symbols of the soul. They show the cycle of birth and death and transformation. And even more interestingly, this butterfly that they drew for the episode slide is a male butterfly, not a female one. Female ones have little crescents on them, but they made sure to make sure that this was a male butterfly. And I think that's kind of important. So with that kind of information and little clues about the type of butterfly, let's talk about the theory options then with either Brandy or Frisky and Grandpa Bob. So the first theory with Brandy, I think is maybe not as strong as my second theory with Bob and frisky but I do think it's worth mentioning. Now of course we know that Brandy really wants children. There's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything as well but she can't have it and there's not really anything anyone can do. She has struggled with it. We are assuming that she has had miscarriages in the past and that's something that her and Chili have both had to deal with. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? Because it's not meant to be. And we know that she does still want children. So what are her options? Most likely adoption. But how does that work then with the butterfly idea? Like I said before, the butterfly symbolizes change and growth, taking risks and testing boundaries. So yeah, adopting a child is taking a very big risk. It is changing you a lot. It's gonna make you grow and it is gonna test your boundaries a lot. Oh, you couldn't have known bingo was bananas. And with the butterfly being male, I think then that this would signify that it would be a male child. So perhaps Brandy is going to adopt a boy dog, whether it is a Gila or maybe a different breed entirely. And that way we get a new little boy within the whole big Gila family. Now, personally, I love the adoption Brandy theory and storyline. I think it would be fantastic to show that as a family dynamic. And I would be so excited to see her finally have a child as well. But I do think that maybe my second theory is more likely. 
Cheeky dogs, if you've been enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and leave a comment. It really means a lot to me into helping build my channel and the YouTube gods also seem to like channels that have lots of likes in them as well. So let's talk about Grandpa Bob and Frisky. Hi, I've got it, I've got it, I'm doing it, what? So like I said before, the butterfly is the cycle of life, death and birth. Grandpa Bob has been gone for a really, really long time in Bluey. So perhaps we find out that he has been really sick, that he's been in a nursing home or a hospital and that's why we haven't seen him in like three seasons. Good night, Grandpa Bob, wherever you are. But then also perhaps that links into the idea of showing that maybe he is going to die. And that is part of the death cycle with the butterfly. And again, the butterfly being male, Grandpa Bob being male, that kind of ties in and fits together. But of course, with a male death, we then show a male birth again. So perhaps the butterfly flies in when Grandpa Bob is dying. And maybe there's like a flash forward scene then where we see the butterfly then landing on Frisky and her pregnant belly. Now, all of this could perhaps be in like the big timeline of the episode, The Sign. We know it is also also going to be a longer episode because Joe Brown has said that it is a longer episode again in a Behind Bluey podcast. Just a story within a story, which weirdly then came to my rescue in a, a later app. Oh yeah. A later longer app. And we know that Rad and Frisky are going to get married. We've already seen like the leaked image of Socks and Bingo and Muffin dressed up as flower girls and Bluey most likely as the ring bearer. So perhaps the episode sign focuses on like the wedding and then the death of Grandpa Bob and then the birth or the pregnancy of Frisky with a new male baby healer. This would be a fantastic kind of cliffhanger moment, I think. We could either see Frisky telling Rad that she's having a baby boy, or perhaps she's telling Bingo and Bluey that she's having a baby boy as well. And again, bringing that idea of adding a new little baby boy into the healer family, which is predominantly all girl children. So I think that would make for a really nice addition. And of course it works with that whole male butterfly effect of death and birth and that whole cycle. But what do you cheeky dogs think? Which theory would you prefer? Would you prefer the Brandy adoption one or the Grandpa Bob unfortunate death going into Frisky having a baby kind of episode cycle? Let me know in that comment section down below as well as any other ideas that maybe you have about what the butterfly meaning could be. I do have a few more videos coming out very slowly. I know unfortunately I've been sick but I do have one about the Terrier's dad as well as Coco eventually coming out so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell for notifications so you know when I'm feeling less sick and I get those videos out to you. But until then, I have picked you cheeky dogs out, a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I will see you all in another video. Mwah, bye!